in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead with the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Low, a Massachusetts born right hander, will get the start in this one. Dan Pleasak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty, we're looking at a guy that has a pretty good number of pitches that he throws, but one in particular is the sinker that he's at it for when he needs a ground ball or he gets in. He needs to possibly roll up. Standing in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Takes a knee-high fastball. His approach to the plate right here has to be to the right side. If he gets it through the infield, that tying run might come around, but at the very least, that would get the runner to third with less than two outs. Swings through it for strike number two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed. So, personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Andres Rosario, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 3 2 pitch. Round is short. This could be two. The second for one. On the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Now batting, Glenn Arrington. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Right the one two. One, one, one. The second, this could be two. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Now with the plate, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Adam Rico. He got called out on strikes his last time through. A one pitch on its way. It's put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs on it. Coming to the plate now, Ricky Laker, one for two with a double on his line. Bar. Hit on the ground out to short. Two is left. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We're through six full. The central squad is on top here, three to one. Kevin Willett is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 28, Kevin Willett. Leading off the inning, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Liner towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Yeah, and the result is not what he wanted. Digging in, Arthur Olson. Arthur Olson. Comes set, and the 0-1. Grounded to short. And they will get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. At the plate, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. Number 99. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2.
the 0 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure. I see dead people when I talk to strangers. Scar with a stomach stop. Gotta get these bundles off. Bubbles in a soft focus. Sharkware, spy hunter, owner, burner, no limit, top of the tank turner. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. With the 14th pick, the Seattle Mariners select the shortstop from the East Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. While being selected is a major milestone, after impressively finishing out his draft year in a development league, this prospect has been sent to open the following season with a double-A club. A welcoming manager offers some simple wisdom. Welcome to ML. Get your pitch. Striding forward now is the DH. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. Now this is on the ground of first. We'll see if they can get two. To second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. Stepping up now, Mario Morales, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Mario Morales. Hey, need you right here one time. Heading out towards shallow right, Vila moves over, two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Ward Maynard. Wait for your pitch up there. Runner! And there he goes towards second. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. Runner's on his way to third. Got him swinging. And that will end the inning. Here on the show. Now at the plate, Big, Big Daddy, over for 99. one for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Digging in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Late that time, strike. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed. So, personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Settling in now, Mario Morales. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Morales. The one pick. It's a swing and a high pop-up. Fader is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Ward Maynard. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So stepping in, Guillermo Heredia. He's popped up in his first plate appearance and flied out last time around. Now the double steal is on here. On the ground to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And that'll score the run from second as they jump in front now, two to one. Okay, there's a good job. Digging in once again, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, he singled his last time up. Sliders in for a strike. Grady on at first, nobody out. This is line to left, and that's in there, base hit. So striding in, Mario Morales. The left fielder, number 11, Mario Morales. The 0-2 delivery. Now a ball back, grounded to short. Ball. This could be two. One there on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in and looking for more. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. From the stretch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Vila giving chase. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played eight full. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Travelers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Oscar Rodriguez earns his first win the of the season. For our ball game. Steven. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. At the plate, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. First shot for him here. Two hits and five trips a night ago. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fader up the middle. Spin throw. Got him at first. And that was not easy with that guy running. Striding in. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. On the, the bag. Middle. On the bag. Barber right here. Comes on the up bag. with it. Throw on to first. Two gone. Riding into the box. Now Big Daddy, it. Big Daddy. Number he got 99. on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a flare out toward right center. Barber ranging into shallow right. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through five here at the ballpark. San Antonio's out in front, five to two. Come on, let's get one. Your pitch ready right here. for Your another pitch. shot now. Big Daddy, oh, Big Daddy, runner in scoring position with two gone. Come on, right here, one time, one time. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Sierra moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no run, no base hits, no errors, and. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. So a big moment here and standing in, Mario Morales. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. And the runner back safely. Here we go. No one better. Hey, get your pitch. Make it happen right now, huh, kid? The one-two. Now a bunt attempt here. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. And that's out number one. 
trying to pick things up where we left off. Ward Maynard. He's driven in four already, and yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire, but what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Hey, big moment. We need you. Here we go. A bounce up to the left side. Tierney has it. Throw on to first. He'll be in time, and the rally falls just short as they will strand the possible tying runs in scoring position, and this ball game is over. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The game's future stars are... Stepping in, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Sierra moves over. He's got one away. Coming to the plate now. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. Runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set and the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. And that is past him at first. It's a fair ball. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right now. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. Digging in now. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Vila has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Into the box, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Strike one to start the at-bat. A bouncer up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 7-0. So digging in now, Mario Morales. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He took that back right where it came from. Up, nice right, ribby knock up, up. right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. In now, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Grounded foul off to the right side. Three runs already home here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Vila. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Big Daddy, Big Daddy. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So a good bounce. 12 to 1 at the end of this one. Arkansas scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. Steve Jimenez gets the win on the mound his first of the year. A double-A hitting coach touches base with